I mean, this story has been going on for, for a week now, and, and I'm not saying that Mrs. Khan probably had a right to be offended by it, you know, but, but the thing is, is let me just tell you my perspective. Words don't mean as much to me as actions. That's just me. You know, when my son was killed, he was killed in the largest loss of life in the history of Naval Special Warfare. And we had 30, family, 30 families at Dover Air Base uh, waiting for our sons, to be, our sons' bodies to be returned from Afghanistan. And you know, what we experienced there was, and I'm not just trying to, I'm just trying to draw a contrast. I'm not trying to bring up old, old mm -hmm. news, but you know, what we experienced there is the families unanimously asked Barack Obama to not bring any media, to not make this a media event, that he was welcome to be with us, but no media. And, you know, he showed up with cameras, and the next day, our pictures, or his picture, saluting the caskets of our boys, was plastered over every, every outlet in America, I guess. And, you know, I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to just be outraged that one person says something that, that could be construed as a, a flippant remark without a lot of thought put behind it, you know, what about the outrage over the things people do? What about the outrage over, you know, Hillary Clinton still to date, insinuating that those grieving parents who say she said one thing must be mistaken? You know, it's just actions mean a lot more to me than words. That's that's just kind of the, the angle I come from on it. And I have full respect for the Khan family. I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful to God for their son and, and his willingness to fight and die for our country. I, I admire their family, you know, so, it's not personal about them. I, I just think a lot of us come at these things from different angles and see it differently.